Oscar nominations have just dropped and let's get right into it. Starting from the bottom up, here we go. Best Megman hairstyling. You know what? Let's let's give it to Oppenheimer primarily because we got to see my, I'm I'm primarily looking at Killian Murphy as we see him from, you know, a, a very young Oppenheimer to a very old an older Oppenheimer. Now, you know, that very last scene may not have been the most convincing ever, but you know what? Throughout we the progression I think is enough for it to pull away with that. Best production design, it's gotta go to Barbie. If you saw Barbie in the sets, they're 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 incredible. Truly, you know, if 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 you know what you're looking at, you know, it's 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 very admirable. So I think I think Barbie pulls away with that one. Best sound, you know, this is kind of a toss up I think between Oppenheimer and Maestro. So, but I think at the end of the day, I'm gonna give it to Maestro. I think um, I just think you know because with Oppenheimer we're really looking at several different sound beats that are very consistent. But with Maestro, where we're seeing different things, a lot of it is very music oriented. But at the same time, I'm thinking about Oppenheimer and the way that. It's 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 still a pretty decent toss up, but my heart says to go with Maestro, and I could be wrong, and I might be. Who knows? Best film editing. This is another toss up between Oppenheimer and Killers of the, Killers of the Flower Moon. I would love to give it to Killers of the Flower Moon because it really actually didn't feel like three and a half hours long. But I will say I I I was a hundred percent sure when we hit about the two forty mark. With Oppenheimer though. It's it's just re it, it it honestly just kind of feels like a 230 240 movie so it's it's very like I said it's a toss up but if I were to give it, if I had to pick one it, it would have to be Oppenheimer. Here we go best costume design it it's it's Barbie right? No discussion no questions asked cinematography Oppenheimer no questions asked original song you know I was a little surprised when I'm just Ken one but then you know like you you, you look into the lyrics and it's actually. <laughs> actually really cleverly written so that being said what I was made for by Philly Eilish for the Oscar best original score Oppenheimer no questions asked <laughs> visual effects toss up between the creator and Godzilla minus one I'm not sure what the criteria is but if you look at the budgets of those films and you look at the the final product those two are the most justifiable best VFX but if I had to pick one it would be Godzilla minus one Best original screenplay, um, The Holdovers, right? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good with that prediction. Best adapted screenplay, I, it's, it's, it's probably Oppenheimer. Probably, if I, like I said, I don't know the criteria, but when you when you figure out that it's it's a base based on a, a 700 page book into a three hour movie, it's, I think that's really impressive. I've read the script; it's it's phenomenal. So I'm gonna. Go with my gut and say Oppenheimer. Animated feature film, another toss-up between The Boy and the Blue Heron and Spider-Verse. Uh, as of late, Spider-Verse has kind of it's kind of been sweeping that animated picture. So, uh, in good faith and whatever else you want to call it, I, I, I'll have to go with Spider-Verse. Best director, Christopher Nolan. No questions asked. Best supporting actor, Devine Joy Randolph. I'll be honest, I have not. I, I don't really not 100% familiar with her performance, but uh, you know follow some patterns and that's that's just my best guess you know and um, if she wins great you know best supporting actor Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer no questions asked best actress now this one I like I said it's another toss-up between Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone Lily Gladstone was phenomenal and I, I, I'm seeing poor things this weekend so I I, I I'd, li I'd like to I'd like to wait for that but you know what if I had to go with my gut Lily Gladstone Another toss-up for Best Actor between Killian Murphy and Paul Giamatti. Because <sighs> there's no pattern to follow here. Both of them have kind of been going back and forth. So if I, if I try to say I know the Oscars, which I do and don't, more so don't probably, uh, I'm going to go with Killian Murphy. I think he's going to win his first. And finally, here we are, Best Picture, Oppenheimer, right? No questions asked. Those are my predictions, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.